welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I make content relating to arts and crafts, short stories, and nursing. You can check out some of my other videos and playlists and subscribe for future videos. As you can tell by the title, I'm sharing how I got into nursing school and I'm really excited that you're thinking of going to nursing school too. I'm going to share my experience and tips to help you land your spot in your chosen school so that you can start your nursing career. A YouTuber I love listening to, Manifest L, always talks about getting ready in Q4, quarter 4, so that you can hit the ground running. This means if you're thinking of going to school in the fall semester, start planning for what you'll need to do in your summer semester. Basically, start planning and preparing before you need to show up. It builds my confidence knowing what to expect and preparing for it. I know life has lots of surprises and I know if I'm prepared and something happens, I'm less likely to stress out as much. So I hope my Q4 videos will help you at whatever stage you are in your nursing school journey to be ready for the next thing coming. I'm going to do my best to share what helped me and what didn't as I went through nursing school and hopefully it'll help you too. The first step in getting into nursing school is applying. Find schools that are accredited and have high pass rates for NCLEX on their first attempt. Ask the nurses around you where they went to school and what their recommendations are. I was recommended the school that I went to by a friend. It was a private school but you do not have to go to a private school. It just worked out well for me because they had an accelerated RNBSN program and that's really what I needed at the time. If you're already working, maybe a flex school or night school is best for you. If you just need to get your foot in the door, maybe you can do LPN, which is a licensed practical nurse, in a year and then work towards your registered nurse. It's all up to you and what works best for your situation. Keep in mind, during the application process, you'll need a resume and a minimum of three references. If you're going to nursing school straight from high school or another institution, you can ask your teachers to provide you a reference or you can ask their help writing your resume. If you're already working, prior employers or reputable co-workers can be your references. If you volunteer for any businesses or organizations, they can provide references for you as well. Now, it's time to prepare for the interview. Some common questions they'll ask are, why do you want to be a nurse? Be honest with the interviewer, but also be tactful. You know the answer I'm talking about. Tell me about a challenge you faced and how you handled it. This is a great time to shine and show your quick thinking and conflict resolution skills. Do you have a support system at home? They know that nursing school is challenging and many people struggle and even drop out. They don't want that for you. So be honest with the interviewer. If you have people outside your home that you can rely on instead of your family, talk about them instead. Most schools have telehealth services now that is free or at a reduced cost to students, so if you're feeling overwhelmed, there are people you can talk to. Will you be working during school or not? Like I said, nursing school is a lot to handle. The added stress of working while you're putting in hours every day during class and studying is not for everyone. For my accelerated program, we were strongly encouraged not to work during school. Anvil of my cohort classmates did and they were able to do both of them well. So, if you can balance working and going to school full time, you can still do it. If they ask you if you have any questions, you can ask if there is any paperwork to fill out before orientation or ask what your next step is. You can ask them what their favorite part of being in the faculty is and what students seem to like the most about their school. After you've run the interview, you may have a little time in between the interview and orientation or even your start date. Most schools will have you take a predictor test like the ATI or the HESI. These tests let them know what your knowledge base is and I highly recommend taking practice tests online and focusing on the health sciences portion of these tests. I know that ATI has a whole package for the T's prep and that's something that you're able to purchase if you'd like to. While you have this time available, make sure that you're also getting your immunization documents together. Sometimes this can take a while, so if you know the date of your orientation right away, try to schedule an appointment with your family physician a few days after your orientation and ask them to have these documents ready for you to pick up at your appointment. When you go in, you'll need a physical and the specifics of these physicals are usually on a sheet in your orientation packet. If you need to get any titers done, do them ASAP and that's something that your doctor might also be able to help you with. Your school may require a flu shot or COVID test or a vaccine if your clinical site requires it. 
and family doctors can usually do those as well. Keep these immunization documents in a folder on your computer with their expiration dates in the titles so that you can renew them on time. If you're like me and you had to quit your job for school so you no longer have health insurance, get all these appointments out of the way before your insurance covers lapse. And if you have any minor procedures that can be scheduled before the end of your insurance, go ahead and do those. The school usually requires that you have health insurance and if you no longer have health insurance, they offer a basic insurance that covers you for clinical in case anything happens. The one our school uses is called Access and other than paying the fee, Saving the ID card, I never had to think about them again. <laughs> I'm not sure how the other schools do this next portion, but at orientation, we receive paperwork to complete our certifications online for OSHA, HIPAA, and medication errors. If they don't have a deadline stated, take your time and review the material. It is long and it is very tedious to review, but it is all important information for your future career and it's going to help you to become a great nurse. The school should provide you with an application for a drug test. Try to schedule that appointment as soon as you can as well. If you're starting around the same time that the other colleges are starting, all those appointments are going to get taken up very quickly. After you've been accepted, congratulations! You may have to do prerequisite classes, such as general education, microbiology, anatomy and physiology, or statistics. If you are going into a competitive program like mine was, you'll need to have B's or higher on all of your health sciences courses, such as the microbiology and anatomy and physiology and your chemistry. A word of warning, if you do take out any loans, they only pay for you to take the class once. If you do not pass on your first attempt, you have to pay for the class out of pocket and you're going to delay your graduation if those classes aren't offered back to back. Coincidentally, because I had to retake one of my classes, I was put into a different cohort and I have met some amazing people that I would not have known if I was in a different cohort. I now have some of the best memories I could ever ask for from my nursing school journey. You're going to do great because you have a plan to get you one step closer to being a great nurse. Apply to the nursing program. Get your resume and three references. Ace the interview. Do well on your predictor test. Get your immunization documents. Do your physical and drug test. Complete the online certifications. And most importantly, subscribe and turn on notifications so you can learn how to get ready for your core classes. See you in the next one! You may have to do prerequisite classes, such as general education, microbiology, and anatomy and physiology.